You know what these sound events look like? It's a nice tonight. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Get your mind right. I'm having a contract right now. It's like the hardest thing I've ever done, really. Yes, baby. Yes. Officially 38 weeks. I got Omar here. We got the car seat, and we have a very special guest. Say hey, Shantu. Hello, hello. My mom's here, and we are headed to our doctor's appointment, our weekly doctor's appointment. We thought we would have had her already. She's still in here. She's actually really quite comfortable. I'm doing all the things. I've been taking my okra water, I've been having dates. I've been drinking raspberry leaf tea, curb walking, workouts, inversions, cat cows, you name it. We're doing it. No rush ocean, we just we just wanna meet you, girl. We're headed to the doctors right now. I'm feeling large and in charge. Babe, what's your prediction on like how many weeks from now do you think she'll be here? I gotta be on set on Monday or Tuesday, so I feel like <laughs> she's gonna come one of those days. Just to, just to make things a little, just to, just to spice things up, huh? Yeah. She's like, who, me? Am I the drama? You're the drama. You're the drama? Okay, we'll see. Mom, what's your prediction, quick? When do you think she'll be here? Easter Sunday. <laughs> okay, my mom's been calling Easter Sunday for a while, actually. Okay, so yeah. All right, all right, we got our predictions in. We'll see. We got to get hooked up to this thing for 20 minutes to see how much movement she's doing. What are you guys up to? Waiting <laughs> for the sun arrival to see if she shows her face today. Cause she's been hiding. She needs to come out of hiding. She ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you feel you so discouraged? Know. I don't feel discouraged. I'm just, I'm starting to understand who she is. <laughs> <laughs> the past how many weeks has she been hiding? How many weeks are we? 38. Uh, 38. 30? That's not true. We saw her in the beginning. We saw her in the beginning, no. babe. Exactly. You we've, never see. seen a, we've never seen a clear picture. You know what these sonograms look like? <laughs> oh my God. Talk about something. It looks like me. Yeah, I know. What is this? <laughs> That's literally what she looks like. Y'all be in here talking about something. Yeah. The baby looks like me. Look, I got your lips. Okay? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. it says every man. Don't worry, girl. This may sound like a dumb question, but do baby's eyes open in the Yes. They open in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. There she is. She looks just like me, look. <gasps> I see her. <laughs> she looks just like me. <laughs> it's my baby right there. We're twins. She's so cute. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, she has a little chunk of face. Oh, no. I think that looks about right. Yeah, that looks about right. No, it's clear right now. It's not like it's no longer like that. You can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Clear. You can she see a little that. chunk. I've never seen them that clear. Okay, so we're, we're gonna call the hospital around 3 p.m. Okay. Let them know you're gonna go home, grab your stuff, okay. and then they're gonna see you at the hospital later tonight. And this means what? Though? It's happening. That's what it's it means. Happening. It means it's happening. Tonight's the night. 322! <laughs> Get your mind right. You've been prepping for this, okay, for nine months, okay? We've had a great week of practice. You got the scouting report. You did all your homework. Now it's just time to go on the field and show out, okay? You just perform, you just do what you've been doing, okay? It's your time, baby, it's your time. <laughs> We're planning the street fair tomorrow, the vegan street fair. That's out, that's out, that vegan street fair is out. This salad is the labor salad, and I asked for extra sauce, and look what they put. Good luck, <laughs> so they know what's up. So I spoke to a couple friends, and they said that this salad has helped them go into labor, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. And they said to get extra dressing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit extra just on one side because I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it right now. But it's time to try it. It looks like it's walnuts, some type of cheese, which I would never put cheese in my salad. But hey, all for baby girl. And also some like lettuce, but this looks like regular lettuce. Let's try it. Mm. 
I really balsamic vinaigrette. I can see how this could put you into labor. Pretty much everything looked good up until she was looking at my placenta. At 38 weeks, she said it looks like a 41 week placenta. Every time I would contract, I would constrict a little bit of air. Two out of three times, she was lacking a little bit of oxygen. We're just gonna take matters into our own hands. We just want her to be safe. Omar's kind of like low key freaking out because it's like a really big deal for him <laughs> to be in this show. And it's like the second day of shooting. And of course, they hit him last night to say that he had to be on set today. So I feel like I'm just gonna try to keep it calm. I want him to be able to handle his job and not be over the top with anything. I want him to feel super comfortable going to work, handling his business. Coming back, we calmly go over. I want everything to be as calm as possible for this whole process. Even earlier today, I felt like something was going on. I don't know what contractions are supposed to feel like, but you know, I just been feeling like period crampy type of vibes. I don't know guys if that's contractions. I don't know if she's in position. I don't know if she's in a weird position. The doctor just told me I was having contractions before, but I didn't feel no contractions. But now I'm feeling the contractions. And I haven't even had the salad yet. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to be prepared and try to soften my cervix. With that being said, salad is tasty. As of right now, I'm just clocking my time in between these little contractions that I think I'm having. And uh, maybe we're going to go for a walk and shower and be ready for Omar to get here so we can go to the hospital. You see my abs? Do I have abs? They're somewhere in there. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see if we come back with a baby. Shit, what if, what if we come? We have to come back home. We coming back with a baby. Okay. Period. Okay, it's time. We are headed to the hospital to deliver this little girl. <sighs> go time. It's go time, baby. Let's ride. Car is packed and ready. I'm feeling a light contractions, nothing too crazy, and the back chunk is packed. Car seat ready to go. Daddy, you ready? Ready. Let's go. All right, Daddy. Middle of the night. I'm calling for Ocean Girl. <laughs> All right. Well, wonderful. We're excited for you guys. We're going to pray with you guys. And I know this is a whole new situation for you all. Oh, How man. you doing, O? I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just trying to be strong with along with Candace. You know what I mean? It helps make sure that she's, she's ready. And, you know, and we know we, we're sticking to our plan. And... Good. You know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, we're with you. The responsibility of each of you is so vital in the life of the ocean. Each of you play such a major role uh, in her development, uh, how she sees men and women, uh, how she sees her father, how she sees her mother. Both of you are about to experience a love you've never known because you, you love this person and you've never even seen them before. It's gonna be overwhelming in a great place because it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for all of her firsts, the first words, the first yeah. steps, the first time she says daddy, the first time she says mommy. What are we doing? Man, we're trying to get some food at Elefante. <laughs> What's Elefante? Oh, this is an Italian spot in Santa Monica. Okay, let's go. Damn, they're closed. I guess we gotta get fast food now. What are we getting? I want some nuggets. Yeah, some nuggets and a spicy chicken sandwich. Number six. Got some goodies. We're going veggie after this. What are you doing? Trying to lean forward. There's not enough space in the Move car. the seat back. Ain't no more room. There ain't no more. <laughs> we're here, you know, we made it to the hospital. 12.20. And we're checking in. We're um, checking in. That technically means it's the 23rd. Hey, my love. Hey, babe. Night one. Night one. We're gonna do this, but not tonight. Not tonight. Get some rest. You looking good with your cot? I'm like a little cotty. <laughs> this little thing has to go in my mouth, between my cheek and my gum, to maybe induce me. Let's see. Getting hydrated is very important during the labor process, especially because you won't be able to eat when you're actively in labor. Okay. Okay. It is. What time is it? It's right there. Five. Twenty. 20. I've been strapped up to these straps it's not the most comfortable but it'll do but my contractions are getting worse but i'm still it's like out of three out of ten three three and a half oceans in there moving a lot yeah she's doing good i just need to get tired i need to get some rest but omar's also doing ramadan so he's up how i'm breaking my fast right now so. overnight oats blueberries blackberries granola little orange you know Spring water. 
The use. The use. Movement is key, I think. Because she loves movement. I was just spinning eight miles three weeks ago. You're built for this. Let's go. There you are. Let's go. There you are. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so happy that he woke up at four because I've been up having contractions and I had a buddy to hang out with. Yeah. Thank God you're doing Ramadan because then I would have just been twiddling my fingers until you. I woke up at so seven o'clock. You know, I got to get these fluids in me. I start my fast at dawn, which is 546 today. It's in three, four minutes. You better drink up. So I do got this, this cannabis drink. Cause I gotta smell it and I can't smell weed. It's not alcohol, it's cannabis. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a difference? I think that's why it took me so long to get up. Cause I had last night before I went to sleep. Oh. What's going on? I was just here, just trying to shake her out. Courtney came, pulled up with a heating pad, some castor oil. First of all, my nail broke this no, morning. Don't, don't beat around the bush. Then castor the castor oil is going to make me shit diarrhea. Oh. But you know what? If we don't do that, if we don't give ourselves a natural chance, then I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't want them to like put pitocin because you know what happens after pitocin. We're trying to fight the system. <sighs> Ready to toot, toot. Just get out. <clears throat> oh, child. His knee's about to buckle. <laughs> it's crazy. I've never had a knee problem in my day of my life. <sighs> Does it? This just feels better on the cramps. So babe, why don't you tell us how you're feeling? I'm feeling like period cramps, like heavy, heavy period cramps, first day of period, but like the worst kind, like when you're like 13 and you're like, well, for me, I was 13. You can't take no damn Advil and you're just cramping, you don't know what to do. The heating pad is helping and then also moving around. So now I just gotta do some figure eights. The first nurse was a dream. She welcomed us. She was so cool. She was very informative, but the second nurse came in guns blazing, didn't know what was going on, telling me all the wrong things, things that I didn't want to hear. Typical policy hospital things, and I'm choosing not to talk to her tomorrow, so. She's coming back at 10 o'clock, which is. Now, and I'm gonna be like. <laughs> Got your face down half up, huh? Yeah, that's how we got here. Feels better. Just going through the motions and trying to get some pressure off of my freaking ovaries. But, you know, the pill's starting to kick in again, and then when the pill kicks in, it's the opposite of an Advil. It's like Project Break Your Water. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You don't know how? Let me tell you, it's a three letter word. It starts with a G and it ends with a D. Okay, that's how. Okay. The meds won't have to kick in. Like 24 hours of this? We're gonna be 12 hours in like two hours. What? But whatever, f it, two days, right? Like two days of pain for Ocean? Like, hey girl. But this right here is like period cramps, like just misery. Like it taps into a place when you were younger and you're just disheveled, leaving school early. Mm. Pain. I got cramps. I got cramps. I need a heat patch. Can I go to the nurse? Can I go to the nurse? I need, and a, I need a little school. I can't stay in school. The nurse is like, what's wrong? Do you, do you want to go home? You're like, yeah. Yes. And you need to go home and you just need Do you need to go home? Yes. And you need to go can home and sleep. Can I get the note? I don't need my parents to come get me. I can walk home. <laughs> I'll just take the bus I'll myself. I'll just go. I'll walk home. I'll, I'll walk. Okay, thank you. The parents, they, they know what they were doing. They were sending you out to go. Wherever. No, it was a real pain, babe. Yeah, you didn't have I'm no pain. Ding dong, bitchy. Yeah, you were. Let's look back at these contractions. Mm. Each white vertical line is one minute. Case each spike in the green line is a contraction for Candace. And up here, this blue line, this is ocean. 
See how ocean is in between these two red lines. That's an awesome thing to see. She ever gets outside of, of either one is when there is an issue. So luckily, thank God, by the grace of God, we've been inside the red line the entire time. This is why she's superwoman. This is why women are the greatest things on earth. Because I couldn't do it. Ain't no baby coming out of this pee, -pee. All that weight you pulling can't handle this for nope. me. I need a vacation and a veggie after this. I get crazy. I get crazy. I, 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 I get crazy. I really want to get back to being healthy, but it's going to be fine. And we plan on making Ocean a plant-based little baby, so she's going to be powered by plants. That's right. And I want my breast milk to be powered by plants, That's too. Right. Keep her safe and healthy, but let's just get her out first. Do you know off the top of your head <laughs> any herbs that will help women produce breast milk? Um, milk thistle mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. nettle. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know I knew that. That's good. How about raspberry, raspberry leaf? leaf? Okay, okay. You I know my. Educate the people. I know my herbs, you know, you know and I haven't even. The people. I'm back on my herbs as That's soon right. as this is done. Where do you get your herbs from? The culture's herb. That's right. I said Candace is a really good pregnant woman. I didn't pay her to say this, you guys. She just randomly just now, said why, this. Why do you say she's a good pregnant woman? Because during labor, you come in the rooms, and the room is stiff. The energy is off. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually very mean, but she has good spirit. Mm -hmm. And she's laughing, as you just heard. That's she's nice. She's joking still. She's doing good. Thank you. you. That's right, babe. We're proud of you. That's so sweet. What are you eating? I am so hungry. hungry. I yeah. am so hungry. Ramadan and labor and stress of just like being in a foreign room, not knowing when your child's gonna be here and you haven't eaten. Hey. You're different. I you're. Mean, I told you you're but, the. But you know what? You know what? That's what I'm gonna say about you when you push ocean out. So you know, we all making sacrifices here, and I feel like. If you got to go through something, I got to go through something, too. You uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable, too. I love you. All right. Well, you enjoy your lunch. I don't want to bother you because I just wanted to come get a whiff because I'm so hungry. <laughs> so You can get a whiff all day. I'm gonna, I, it's making me feel better. Hey. Hi. I love you. I like you, too. I think we should be together forever. Together forever. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? Let's let's give a quick little update. So, okay, it's Friday, March 22nd. It's 6.58 p.m. We have been here for about 20 hours now, and Candace has been going through it. <laughs> She's been experiencing some contractions that have left her making noises I've never heard before. She sounds like a record over here, just on repeat. I'm sorry, I, just, I, had, to, I had to tell the people what was going on. You wanted me to be truthful, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, that, that's, that's what's going on. But seriously, she's handling it like a trooper. For anyone that has kids or any mothers out there, you guys are true super women. Because the things that you guys have to go through, I mean, Look, luckily right now, if we look, like the contractions are all been down, which has been awesome. But as you guys know, it's going to ramp up pretty quickly Ugh. when it does. So I just wanted to just give you guys an update. Well, Say how proud I am of my, my wife. Two things happened. Uh, okay. A nurse came in and tried to tell Candace what to do. Okay. We weren't having it. Okay. She even told Candace to lay down on her back. Candace was like, my doctor. my doctor don't like that shit. Could you believe that our doctor walked in five minutes later? It was like perfect timing. So our doctor walks in. First thing she says is, why are you laying like this? I, I, I don't even like this. Adjust it immediately. Then the nurse walks in. The nurse walks in, and now she's in pocket. She is, she ain't saying shit. She's now kind. She nice all of a sudden. It was crazy. Crazy experience. But, but Dr. Collins came in, and... Just analyzing Candace, she decided that maybe it might be a good idea to insert a balloon inside of her cervix, right? Okay. To start dilating. After about seven to eight minutes of her trying, she wasn't successful. Mm -hmm. However, Candace went from one centimeter dilated to two. So we made an enormous amount of progress in seven minutes. And the progress left Dr. Collins believing that she may be going into labor a little later on tonight, if not early in the morning. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. We're going to keep our prayers up that uh, 
it goes according to plan. It's time to break fast. I've been going through Ramadan, mm -hmm. so I'm not to say that one should be compared, but mm -hmm. you know, I, I thought, it, you know, it's cool to put myself in an uncomfortable situation the same time my wife is uncomfortable. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I could easily be eating and doing whatever I want, but to just keep us, I guess, kind of in sync. I'm continuing up with my Ramadan, so that was my alarm. But you gotta see, I got my Bob Marley hat on. Y'all was talking about me in the comments. It's, it's on. It's on. Now I gotta go get us some something to eat, some some dinner, because my wife is hungry. Well, she's not hungry now, but he's hungry. I'm starving, and she'll be hungry again later. So 7 p.m. right now, 10 o'clock. We take one more pill to see if we go into natural labor, and hopefully. She'll be here by tonight or tomorrow morning. But we are so anxious to meet her because this pain right here ain't nothing to play with. And by the way, when she was trying to put in that damn balloon, I saw God. I, you know what? Since we're there, let's go back there really quickly because um, in, anytime the doctor inserts herself into Candace, Candace always wants me by her side. Every movie or sitcom you've ever seen of a woman experiencing contraction and grabbing her man's hand and their man being like, oh. Oh my gosh, because, yeah, I really, I, I experienced that today. I experienced, in fact, Candace literally, you might, did you break your nail on my hand? She done broke her nail on my hand, squeezing my hand so goddamn hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's actually pretty interesting to see how someone could be in so much pain and just like completely ignoring the pain that they're inflicting on somebody else because there's so much pain that they're enduring. Wow. Yeah. This has been... It's the hardest. That was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Yeah, but you handled it like a trooper. Seriously, y'all, just think about this. Think about this. The doctor went in, went around her s cervical membrane mm -hmm. and created space. Think about like a pebble and there being no space around there. And the doctor taking their finger, going around the pebble to create some space. That's essentially what happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she actually compared it to chicken skin, like a chicken breast. Think about peeling off the skin of a chicken breast off and trying to get in between the actual breast and the skin. Mm -hmm. That's basically what was happening earlier. So she handled it like a trooper. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're, we're proud of you. So Thank you. just keep it going. I'm about to go get this food. Okay. Tell Ocean to, to wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, see y'all. I'm about to sleep on the couch and I'll back in the room. It definitely got Yeah, but by the time they left, it was late. So it was perfect because I was just getting sleepy. Uh -huh. So it was perfect. <laughs> This is officially the last pill of the journey that we've been on for 24 hours. Oh, you put it inside your cheek and let it do its thing. What does it do? Disintegrates. <laughs> Having a contraction. What is it doing to your body? <laughs> it's giving me contractions and it softens my cervix. Because we want to get this thing nice and soft so it's like... Right. For those that don't know, cervix starts like this. The last time we checked, we're at two after the membrane sweep. Okay, we gotta get to 10, so we got some work to do. <laughs> I'm feeling good. We just did a little dance break. We walked around. After the shower, the shower what was like, did I did a little improv, so something that you can't make up. It's just God given gifts. You think Ocean gonna have that gift? I think she has no choice because I've been dancing with her since. I probably conceived her dancing. Wow. If that was possible. That's, that's dirty dancing. That's dirty dancing. <laughs> Then I got in the shower, and the shower changed everything because I wasn't hooked up to anything. I let the water just drop on me, kind of like I would be at home, which was really nice because I came out ready to rock. Went outside, went, did a couple laps, speed racer. Ah, but yeah. I'm having a contraction right now. Oh, no, it's like medium. Sounds like mid. Yeah, but it's there. <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> We're just going to take it hour by hour. And thank you guys for staying tuned for so long because it's been forever. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Comer Show. We love y'all. What you about to do, girl? We're about to do some nipple stimulation. I'm, I'm going to try to prevent the pitocin as much as possible yeah, first. For sure. We're going to at least try. I'm trying to get some colostrum out of them nipples. Okay. This is the top. This is the top. Where does the bottom? I don't mean, Oh, this. Ah, okay, okay. There we go. We got the moms in the building. Say what's up. Good. And they got me connected to every machine in the hospital. <laughs> I got my calves done. I got my face done. I got my wrist done. I got my elbow done. Got I got back my back done. done. Yeah. Okay. Maybe day three. I 
is no baby. We we here. We out here. Oh, I'm through. It's like the hardest thing I've ever done, really. <sighs> Supplier's stomach kind of originate in the back, so by putting some numbing medications similar to what dentists use, okay. it can help to take away some of the pain. We're about to get an epidural. Uh, last very... time we talked, what's that? Um, over it. You're over it. Yeah. Yeah. How was uh, the pain after receiving the medication? I feel better. I was trying to sleep, trying to get some rest, so maybe this will give me some rest. All righty. March 23rd, it's 3.52, March 23rd. The last time we saw Candace, she was about to get the epidural. She was a little over it. And so we're just coming back to check in and get a quick little update on how she's feeling. It's been well over eight hours uh, since she received it. Yeah, how you feeling, babe? I feel so much better. <laughs> last night was probably one of the hardest nights of my life, like ever in the history of my being. So I feel so much better. I was so sad because I had to go against everything I thought I wanted. I held out for like 24 hours of labor with no medication and letting go like that. I, I got down on myself. I'm not going to lie. I knew that if I wanted this baby to come out and if, for me to be able to do this, I needed, I needed assistance, you know, and... I took it upon myself to get the epidural and tell them, you know, like, I need this baby to get here and I don't need to be superwoman. But it got to the point where I couldn't even speak. So Omar was like, what do you need? And I'm pointing at things because I couldn't even talk. So, However, I did get her to laugh. I was like, yo, after you see what you missed out on, you're going to need an epidural. It actually brought a quick little smile to her face. Shout out to to Jess from The Love Is Blind. I stole your joke. That was a crazy moment because she was really experiencing a lot of pain. She was extremely uncomfortable. I found myself in the bathroom, on the floor, in the bathroom, in the shower, super wet. Like, yeah, I'm I mean, not gonna make it. we went to sleep at around 11.30. Candace woke up about 1.30. I woke up at 3. I was up every eight minutes from that time. So you could just imagine, like, how uncomfortable that is for someone who is just trying to get some rest in preparation for one of the biggest moments of their life. And uh, that was that was tough. So at 3 o'clock, she's up. The nurse comes in. We're trying to figure it out. She mentions that she needs some type of medication, you know. So after long talks, you know, we decided to, to, to do a dose of medication. And it worked. The problem is, is that it was short lived. Prior to us getting the epidural, we still tried to thug it out. We went to the shower, tried to uh, resort to water and try to self uh, soothe that way. And um, honestly, it just it just wasn't working. So all of that, consider everything went into consideration. We decided to go through with the epidural. And thankfully, we did because she's a different person um, now than she <laughs> she was 12 hours ago this morning. So. Ooh. Six centimeters dilated when I think the last time we spoke, we were two centimeters dilated. So obviously, clearly, there's been some some great progress there. We got to get to 10 centimeters. So we're still working. Ocean, again, Ocean is doing well. The contractions are happening still. Uh, it, even right now, she's having a contraction. And she ain't even moved. It was super nice. Dr. V, he was extremely informative. Let us ask as many questions as we wanted to ask before he actually put the needle in her back, which gave us a lot of comfort. I cannot wait to meet you. You're the one that's getting me through this. We've been chit-chatting. I know she wants to stay inside, but we're here and we're going to get you out safely, my love. That's just what's getting me through every minute. I'm just keeping in mind that I'm going to get to meet my little broke bestie. <laughs> I can't wait to meet my daughter either. I'll try to get some footage set up when we start going into labor for real, for real, so you guys could really get a authentic feel of how this is happening and at least how we're experiencing it. So we'll tap in soon. Baby, you got anything else? Right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Yep. Hello, check this out. I uh, took a moment to step outside and get some sun just because just being inside of that hospital is just it is tough for me personally. So with the fact that my wife and I have such a supporting cast and a village in particular with both of our mothers being here, plus our doula, it gives me an opportunity to get 10 to 20 minutes here and there, which are, oh man, it's just incredible. So I just want to say, take a quick moment to say thank you to my mother, uh, 
Chantal, my mother-in-law, and uh, Courtney Ardula. You guys have been incredible aid to me and my wife. We're just so grateful for that. But I wanted to come outside and just talk about some real emotions that I've been going through because, to be honest, for men, fellas, that have gone through this, you guys are gonna understand, you guys understand me when I say this, like, you can't really show, you can't really wear your heart on your sleeve, as they would say, uh, while you're in there. It's actually so emotional, so much going on, and you have to be so strong for your wife in this moment, or your partner in this moment, and you gotta just kinda put everything that you did there, the emotion that you feel it, and kinda just voice that inside you know or come outside and use a camera and a mic as an outlet like i'm doing right now i've never seen a woman go through so much pain i've never seen my wife experience so much pain in, in our lifetime right of us knowing each other of us being together i've never seen her behave the way she's behaving i've never seen her uh, move the way she's moving in, in discomfort i've never heard her make the noises and the sounds that she's making in pain and honestly you feel so damn helpless you can't do anything about it there's literally nothing i could do yesterday before things got bad i was giving her foot massages and honestly she was saying and she was she was being very 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 candid she was like yo i could feel the contraction but it's it's allowing me to get through these contractions when you when you give me the foot massage so you know we did that and it allowed her to get some rest a few different times yesterday but as we got going into the night time not even the night time i would say overnight so as we ended our night last night she felt good she felt comfortable she fell asleep around 11:30. i fell asleep right after her around 11:45. i'm thinking we're sleeping good i wake up at 3 a.m and the nurse is in the room and i could tell something's going on so i instantly get up she's like it's like it's too much I, like, I can't i can't take it to be honest she's actually crying she's telling me that she wants to do the epidural but at this point we can't even do the epidural it's too early okay well a hey, nurse let's you know hey whatever she wants to do you know we came into this into this pregnancy or into this birthing process uh saying hey we're not going to do any medication you know what i mean but i'm saying we just because it's it's our team it's it's the boldens but really it's on my wife she's the one that has to go through that and quite frankly if you ask me i've had five surgeries in my lifetime if, if you ask me would i ever go into a surgery and allow a doc doctor to cut me open or something to come for them to remove something from my body without any anesthesia you would be fooling yourself i feel like in life everything is circumstantial and a particular situation like giving birth or having a surgery that's circumstantial so in this instance i'm not mad at her for wanting the drugs because quite frankly i would want them too so it was like hey nurse she needs the drugs let's get them to her she gives my wife the dose and instantly my wife feels better right problem is is that it is short-lived so i mean she may have got like an hour of sleep something like that or maybe two and then back again right so then when you see them administer a drug to your wife or someone that you love and it's supposed to take the pain away and then hours later you're hearing them make noises that sound worse than the ones that you were hearing before you're like you get up because again you, you want to do something but what can you do you can't do shit. you can't do a goddamn thing but sit there and just be supportive with positive affirmations maybe some back rubs maybe some stomach rubs that's it bro that's all you got that's all you got is nothing else that you could possibly do bruh i feel so helpless and now i feel terrible because again i've never heard my woman be in pain like this and to hear someone that you love actually be in that kind of pain and you not be able to do anything about it is heartbreaking like i watched them give her epidural this morning after the drug after they administered the drugs three times she couldn't take it no more she was at a point where like, yo, I need something more. And they were at a point where they could no longer administer the drug because the baby's also receiving it too. So it's like, you know, now we have to move on to something harder, which is now next level's epidural, which she was really trying to avoid, like I said earlier. But 
They bring it. They bring the the doctor in for the epidural. He pulls out this big shot. They got me holding it from the front. They tell me to sit down because they like, yo, we don't want you to pass out. I'm like, pass out. I'm like, bro, don't know me. I said it in my head. I said it in my head to the nurse too, but she ain't hear me. I'm just playing. I kept it cool, but I was like, all right, cool. I'll do whatever y'all need. I sat down in front, but I'm really vegan. Oh no, nah, that shit crazy. She had to sit so still. She took the fucking trip. Ever since then, she's been good. But <laughs> I know she's gonna go through it again once it's time to actually push ocean out and on top of feeling helpless and terrible and sad and heartbroken man it's also just like you sit there and you admire your woman because you're like yo if i had to do that i don't know man it's beyond tough i'm so proud of my wife i'm so proud of my wife for the way that she's in there fighting and sticking up for our family helping us you know bring life into this world so yeah i just wanted to get that off my chest really quick because i've been letting her speak a lot of the time and you know it's time that i wanted to get something off and get you know just express my my gratitude for my wife for the nurses uh, the doctors yeah this experience is it's going as, as good as it can be and um you know we're almost home so at this point in time we're currently six centimeters dilated but hopefully ocean comes by tonight tomorrow i'll tap back in soon man hey guys Good morning, we're on day three. I think it is currently 9.55 a.m. on Sunday, March 24th. Our new doctor is pristine. pristine. We got news that our doctor, our original doctor, couldn't be here for the whole entire birth this day. She was devastated, which was extremely disappointing, but she said the next person that you're gonna get, I love her so much. She does like practices, like even at home births and things like that. So I thought, oh wow, I can't wait to meet her. But imagine like a doctor and somebody that's down for home births. Like that's what I've been wanting this whole time, but didn't know where to even look. Anyways, she comes in last night and she just so happens to be Haitian, just like your girl. So we hit it off incredibly. Her name is Dr. Affleck and I'm just so happy to have her. The whole night shift last night was lit. Our entire room was all us. It was all us, and when I say all us, the melanin was popping in this motherfucking room. Black nurses, black doctors, black moms, black doula, black husband, black mama. It was really nice because, you know, you hear stories about being in the hospital and being a little mistreated, and, you know, the day shift has been a little bit rough to work with. I'm in really bad pain. I have my epidural in, but now we have... So when the doctor came in last night, at 3 a.m., they popped my water. She likes to do things obviously more natural. When I was telling her the story of how we went from no epidural to epidural and she understands how everything kind of escalated, um, she asked me about our plan and the birth plan that we want and she seems to really be, you know, understanding and cares. And this is really, really nice to feel because I feel like I've been leading down this path of doing what the hospital's been telling me to do. And also just being in the longest labor of life, bro. Between five and six centimeters dilated, but she's pushed down. My cervix is facing forward now, which is good. She's really pushing down. No, the period cramps is like, was the one thing. And then this is different. This is like pressure down there, but on the back end. Yeah. And then now that I'm in this position, it's like front end and back end. So I'm getting used to this feeling because this is really crazy. I have a catheter in me. All my urine is going into this catheter. I don't even feel it, but everything else I feel. And I have a feeling we're going to give birth to her, to her by today. Hopefully, now that my water's officially broken, they put fluids back in me so that she feels comfortable, Ocean. But so far, so good. We're hopeful. And now we just got to dilate. The cervix is already softened, and I'm thirsty as a bitch. I'm connected to so many machines because I'm on the epidural. Every time I go to one side, she likes this side, but she doesn't like that side. So her blood, her oxygen goes below, and now I got to cater to making sure I keep her alive. But also, when I go to one side and stay there, the medication kind of moves to one side. So it, I feel all the pain on the other. So it's like this dance of epidural, feeling pain and no pain, and keeping your daughter alive. Ocean, you are giving me a run for my money. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta go, man. Hopefully the next time we see you, we're literally giving birth. I, I don't know what to tell you. Everybody All right, there. so it is, uh, it's go time. Uh, the doctor has cleared us to push, and uh, Candace is, she's, she's ready, she's ready, she's ready. So we're so happy, we're so proud, <laughs> and uh, she's gonna do great. Right, babe? You're gonna do great, okay? I love you. Okay. She said the idea is to get baby the chest. So I gotta get skin to skin. Not your chest. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, his too. He's we'll gonna, get there. We'll he get needs to know, but take it. Get ready. Well, let me take off my chain. Oh, 
My wife is saying I gotta take off my chain. Let's go, babe. Come on. You get this, Cam. You get this. You got it, babe. You got it. You got it. You got it, babe. I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be right here. Okay? So you're gonna put your feet here and you're gonna scoot your butt a little bit more this way. If you need to put your legs down here to do that, that's fine. Just, there you go. Okay, the way we push. We push as if... Too much? No, you know what? I love Shade. Shade is my girl. I gave birth to by your side. Wow. To my son. Legs back. Okay, chin to chest, take a nice big deep right breath, here. and pushing your bottom. Ready, go. Hold your breath. One, two, hold your breath, hold your breath. And Three, push down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take a deep breath. breath. And again. And so, Father, we thank you. God, I love you, and I praise you, Father. I thank you, God, that you placed Omar and Candace in our lives. And Lord, now you are placing baby ocean in our lives. So Father, I pray for Candace. I pray God that you would give her the strength that she needs in order to bring forth this beautiful, wonderful baby God that you have ordained to be here on this earth for a greater purpose. And Father, I just pray God that you would be with her all the days of her life. Where she walks, God, angels walk before her and makes every crooked way straight. And Father, we will praise you. We just cannot wait to meet baby Ocean, oh God. There will be such a joy, unspeakable joy, when baby Ocean finally comes into this world. And we will know that she has been sent by God. And Lord, we love you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray, Father. Amen. Yes, babe. Yes, babe. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, babe. Woo. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did, baby. Chin here. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Oh, oh she has eyebrows. Oh my god. She has eyebrows. Yes, she does. Oh my god. Yeah, yes. she has a lot of, a lot of hair. hair. Just like your daddy. Mm -hmm. Placenta is made by the genes of the father, not by the baby, and not by the mom. So when you cut the cord, you're assuming your roles. You understand that? Mm -hmm. yes. You become daddy. Okay. Oh, and she becomes mommy. Okay. And now you become the lion. Yeah. And what does the lion do? Protect the pride. That's right. That's right, baby. That's right. You feel responsibility mm -hmm. and accountability for mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. You cut that cord. That's okay. your birth. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. She just gave birth to motherhood. Now you're giving birth, birth to, to fatherhood. fatherhood. I Amen. like that. I like there that. There you go. I like so that. There you go. Okay. Now. So in between in the two? In between. Okay. That's it. That's for a bit of you ready? Here Good. it goes. Three, two, one. Oh. Again. Boom. Wow. There you go. Wow. That's oh. it. Oh. That's it. Oh. That's it. Oh. Mom, how does it feel? Be your grandmother for the first time. It feels so wonderful. I'm loving it. Ocean is so pretty. I like her little tiny face. I want to thank her mommy Candace for giving her to me. I'm so happy. How was it being in the room experiencing Candace birther? Wow, that was an experience of my life. I really enjoyed that. I'm so glad that she let me be here for that because that was a whole lot. And it was a great experience for me, Ocean. I'm so glad to see you, boy. I was here for it all. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. I love you. How does it feel to be a grandmother from your daughter? The entire experience has been unreal. At one point when Ocean was coming out, 
and when I saw her head really, doctor was pulling her out, my heart was pounding so fast mm -hmm. <laughs> that I thought my heart was gonna stop. It's just been such an incredible experience, really and truly, to witness my daughter and witness, witnessing it all, having Ocean being pulled out of her, this is something that I've never experienced before with anyone and experiencing it with my daughter and my grandchild mm -hmm. and she's beautiful and I thank God that everything went well and welcoming her into this world and we're ready to just have a great old time. Welcome to life. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> yes. When Ocean watches this video uh -huh. back in 15 years, what's one thing that you want her to really remember hearing you say? to her. That I was really, really happy to be here, to witness her being born and the bond we're going to have and already have mm -hmm. <laughs> is, <laughs> is going to be something unbelievable. We're all here for it. And she's already loved. She had lots of people waiting on her and here she is and we're so happy she's here. Out of the chill, Omar. Uh, feels great. It feels great. Beautiful. Wow. Thanks.